Welcome to part three. Today we're gonna to be talking about back exercises. Again, just to cover, we have gone through our overview of how to design your own program. We've done a full body day, and today we're going to talk about our five favorite back exercises to do for you today. Let's get into it. When it comes to starting to talk about our muscle groups, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of anatomy. We're just thinking about the big muscles and the important ones. Our latissimus dorsi, our trapezius, our rhomboids, rear delts a little bit, and our biceps a little bit. We won't really mention these because it's just secondary muscles. So now let's get into our first exercise. First off is the single arm bent over row. Now, I really like the single arm bent over row. I often get clients doing it. It's really important to train individual arms or individual legs because it shows those imbalances. With this single arm bent over row, we have got our bench, my knee and hand are on the bench, and right now I'm using a kettlebell. With this, again, you can kind of use a lighter and do a couple more repetitions, or use it heavier weight to be able to really get stimulus for strength. The whole time I'm thinking about pulling the kettlebell, or you could also use a dumbbell, to our hip, so that I keep my arm close to my side. If you squeeze, that means we're going to work our lats better. When we do turn around, it's a lot easier to move our body around, so we're just facing the opposite way. I see lots of people picking up the kettlebell, putting it on the other side of the bench, and then getting set up on the other side of the bench. It makes sense if you're using a mirror. I would just use the same bench side twice and just turn around. So our second exercise is the reverse fly. Now we're gonna be bent over, similar to the bent over row in the last video, but holding on to dumbbells. In this position, we can kind of fly and swing our arms wide so that we're able to squeeze the center of our back. That's mainly gonna focus our rhomboids and bring our shoulder blades back in together. So as we do this fly, with our arms slightly bent, we're trying not to use a lot of momentum. We're trying to use the contraction of our muscles to be able to pull those dumbbells apart. You're gonna feel the squeeze in between your shoulder blades, between those scapula. It's gonna feel really good. Exercise number three. What we're gonna be doing is pull-ups. Pull-ups are a great exercise. If we're in the gym and we can't quite do pull-ups yet, there are some ways around it. You can kind of help yourself with our pull-ups we can do a couple of different variations. Now, here's a video of me just doing a standard pull-up without any assistance, without any resistance. What I want you to think about, again, keeping that chest up, looking up at the sky, and using your lats, they're the big, nice, thick muscles on the side that pull our elbows down to our sides. If it's a bit too difficult for you to do a pull-up, add a band. If you attach a band to the pull-up bar or whatever you can and put your foot into that band, it's gonna take away some of your body weight by adding some upwards resistance. We obviously don't wanna use something too easy than actually using a resistance where it's quite tough for us. We can still struggle to get up to the top. Another way to make it easier is to use a platform with jumping pull-ups. So as you can see in this video, I'm on that platform. I'm jumping with my pull-up to be able to get my chin up and it's a lot easier for me to get to the top. For extra brownie points, control yourself on the way down so that you're able to work on the eccentric portion, not just the concentric. One thing I don't want you to do with pull-ups is as we're going up, struggling and flipping around and going crazy, please try and be nice and strict and rigid and think about that core control and squeezing your legs together. Now, numero four, lat pullovers. Now, with that pullover here, we're gonna talk about two different ways to do them. Again, using a band and also using a machine. With the band is my favorite because at the bottom of that pull, you really get a great contraction. What we're doing here is we've got our bent knees and bent hips hips with my arms straight above my head, letting my shoulder kind of relax a bit when I get long. So we get that nice long stretch in my lats on the side of your body. And then as we start to squeeze, my shoulder squeezes down away from my ears, and then I pull my hands down to my hips. We don't want this position. This is not strong back. This proud big is strong back. With a band, as you get to the bottom, the resistance increases. So you're periodically, as you're going through the exercise, adding weight, and then as you come back down, it starts to relax because the tension in the band increases and then relaxes. Do focus on the bottom part of the position, keeping a nice upright chest. I really don't want you to bend your elbow and pull down. I would like you to have straight arms the whole time. With straight arms, then our lats are the things pulling down. We're not adding in our biceps. As you get stronger, 
you're gonna need to add more resistance instead of using a band. Here I'm using a cable machine with not a lot of weight on it to be able to really show the technique, but we're able to do exactly the same thing. I've just changed my hand position slightly and used a straight rolling bar. For our final and fifth exercise is one that makes me act like Elvis Presley slightly. So we're doing shrugs and also farmer's carries. With shrugs, we're in a stationary position, we're squeezing our shoulders up towards our ears and contracting our trapezius muscle. As we do our shrugs, I really want you to focus on contracting them up and slightly backwards, almost like you're trying to get behind your ears. The reason we want that is because that is where the muscle line is. The fibers run up your shoulder and up through the back of your neck like this. If again, we might have a neck issue or a shoulder issue and shrugs are a little bit too much that it causes migraines or headaches, do this farmer carry. You hold the weights exactly the same way, you squeeze into a good posture and you walk and we're just gonna hold the position. You're still gonna be building muscle or getting endurance or gaining strength by trying to just hold a position without having to move through it with the thing that we're working whilst maybe walking or keeping your mind occupied by doing something else. You could literally just stand there and hold still but the moving adds a bit of having to stabilize so it's a little bit more difficult to do a bit of a walk at the same time. With our farmer's carry, nice posture, shoulders back, and just breathe and try and see how long your grip can last and also how long your traps can deal with holding a good position. But I don't want us rounding over into a really slumped position. And that's it, that's it with all of our five back exercises. Hopefully you're gonna go try some of these out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so we know that you've appreciated it. Uh, subscribe so you can see more of these parts and other videos that we release every Friday. All right guys, have a good one.